Hi, I'm Stacy Summero. Thank you so much for joining me today on Catholic Strong for a stretch video. Today we're going to be praying the Lorica of St. Patrick or the St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. This is particularly wonderful for a morning devotion. Uh, we're going to be doing stretches. They are not yoga stretches. They're stretches that I used to use every day when I was a professional dancer to get my body warmed up and ready. I want you to just work within your individual capacity today. Whether you are stretching farther than I am or not as far as I am, it doesn't matter. Push yourself as hard as you can, but also remember to breathe. So this is rather a long prayer. I'm gonna to need to use my phone in order to read it, but I want you to just be able to close your eyes and relax, maybe get a prayer candle going like I have, and just breathe deeply and enjoy this. Okay, let's get started. Take a deep breath. Think of breathing deeply into the lowest part of your stomach, all the way below your belly button, and breathe out. Take your right hand and gently pull your head to the side so you feel a stretch in your neck and take a deep breath. Switch sides. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Keep breathing. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity. Go ahead and roll your head all the way around. Through belief in the threeness. And switch sides. Through confession of the oneness. Stretch your arms to the side, as far as they can go. The creator of creation. Imagine there are strings pulling your hands out to the side. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. Put your legs in front of you. Cross one leg over. Then stretch to the opposite side and take deep breaths. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial. Switch sides. Cross the other leg over. an opposite stretch in your torso. Through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. Take another deep breath. And keep your chest open. Put your legs together, reach up high, and reach forward. As far as you can go, let your head relax, let your shoulders relax, let your back relax, let your face relax, and take a deep breath. I rise today through the strength of the love of cherubim, in the obedience of angels, in the service of archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, in the predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles, in the faith of confessors. Slowly begin to roll your torso up. Letting your vertebrae stack on top of each other one at a time. Now stretch your just your upper body forward so you feel a stretch in your upper back. In the preaching of apostles, in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins, in the deeds of righteous men, 
I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon. Go as far as you can, either into a split or as close as you can get so you feel a stretch in your inner thighs. And just stay right here for a moment. Now we're going to walk our hands forward as far as you can. If you can go all the way down and put your chest on the floor, wonderful. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, the firmness of rock. Take your torso to one side. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me. Take it to the other side. God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptation of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul. Come back up. Walk your legs in. Cross one leg over the other. You're going to feel a stretch in your glute. Go ahead and lean forward as far as you can while pushing down that knee. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of pagandom, against false laws of heretics, against craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Switch over, you put your other knee, push it down, and cross over your other leg, and lean forward. Christ to shield me today, against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may come to me an abundance of reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. One more time, put your legs in front of you, reach up, and reach forward. Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every ear that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me, I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Once again, roll up slowly. May the Lord bless us and protect us now and every day of our lives. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you're feeling stretched, relaxed, and energized after that. This would work as a great cool-down video for another one of my workout videos here on Catholic Strong. So feel free to please check those out. You can also head to my website for lots of discernment resources 
including a free resource when you sign up for my email list, as well as over 80 episodes of the Called and Caffeinated podcast. If you would like to get this prayer candle, which smells like lemon and lily of the valley, or many other prayer candles, I will leave a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today, and may God bless you.